it's another ugly day. So I thought I would do a uh, kind of a, a driving video on this F-150. It's a 2022 XLT. It's got about a thousand miles on it. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, these floor mats from Amazon are the best ones I've ever had. They're super pliable and, um, I don't know. They just look good and they cover, if you can see that back there, they cover all the way. A lot of these will stop right here and this actually has protection all the way back there. So it comes. Here's the passenger side one, and then I even got one for the rear. You can see that or not. All right, so if you watched my last video, it was about uh, the move from a Ram to a Ford. And uh, some of my likes, dislikes, opinions, which one was better at what. Uh, I don't know what this was about. You see this right here? So for some odd reason, this is not, this trim piece is not the way I don't think it should be. See how that one's real nice and crisp there? That one, it's got some, I don't know, some play to it. I might have to go back to the dealer for that, but you see how it's got, I don't quite know what's going on there, but that's not a big deal. But I did come in forward on it, say, uh, it's build quality and then notice that, but, uh, Everything else is fine. What I wanted to do is kind of give uh, a maybe some quick acceleration videos and whatnot on the 5.0 here. I've got, you know, I've got over a thousand miles now, so that I think the trans is starting to learn my driving habits. But we're going to go ahead and throw it in sport mode when we actually do a, um, a test drive or, you know, kind of a test run with acceleration. Let me take off. Um, this video is probably going to be pretty short and sweet but i wanted to give an idea you know a lot of people ford has so many different um powertrain options i think now they got six or seven um you know they've even got the hybrid version of the uh 3.5 EcoBoost and um, kind of give you an idea of the visibility here. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Um, might get some wheels and tires this week. Don't don't really know. I'm kind of I kind of want to wait until I wear this set out. Um, but you know, this first first month of ownership, I don't have a truck payment, so we could see some uh, stupid spending. Um, Anyway, so far, so good with this truck. Um, obviously, no issues. It's only 1,200 miles on it. But some people actually do find a couple of issues right off the bat. I don't know whether it be from just these trucks sitting on the lots for an extended period of time or not. Uh, don't really know. I, I, maybe they're just a bad apple, you know, from the start. But dealers most of the time will take care of you on that. That's what I hear. But no, as far as I'm concerned, everything has gone well. I'm pretty pleased with the truck. It's uh, hard to keep clean. You know, this darker paint. Uh, I do like white and silver trucks, but uh, it is what it is. It does tend to take a little more care. I actually did. You know, this is a two wheel drive because I enjoy towing more than I enjoy um, or I do more towing than I do off-roading and uh, so I got the two-wheel drive and um, found myself face-to-face uh, -face with a pretty legit uh, mud hole yesterday and uh, no two days ago and it got through it now it, it that ass in did like you know did want to kind of get squirrely on me and want to put me in a ditch but uh I put it in the trail mode in the sport or in the uh, driver mode um, settings. I'm gonna bring those up real quick so you can see. So normal, tow haul, eco, sport, and then slippery. There's trail and slippery. Okay, so every one of these changes uh, the dynamic of the pedal, changes. Um, one of them, the trail mode, I think actually turns the, uh, 
what do you call it off the traction control off so anyway i got through it it was that's not what this truck's built for but i couldn't turn around a narrow county road so all right so here's a, a good idea of uh what the sport mode can do so we'll go ahead and see if i can get a pretty good little little run with it here so whoa okay so that uh this thing's definitely got I, I guess i could equate it to so the ram i came from didn't have drive modes so uh when i put the uh, pulsar and if you don't know what a pulsar is it's just it basically unlocks the computer um where you can quit running on um kind of the cylinder deactivation and which this truck has um but i usually wait until the warranty's out to start messing with stuff like that but this basically these drive modes are kind of doing what the pulsar does with kind of unlocking the acceleration the pedal feels better kind of makes it feel like you got a pedal commander um so it's uh i like it i like that there's i don't know what that bumping is maybe my glasses up there i don't know but uh yeah it really is nice to have the ability to kind of dial some of these drive modes in to kind of what you're feeling at the moment so like if i'm doing a lot of stop and go and um merging and stuff like that that sport mode really i mean it, it, you get to 60 in like second gear it really really can scat um the normal mode is obviously pretty much kind of in the middle and then eco the pedal feels just absolutely dead so it's not a i usually don't drive around with that on very often um, now what i will say is i just took so i'm in greenville texas so that is um all right we're in normal mode right now see if i can give y'all an idea of what uh what it'll do well i got some people in front of me here so so i'm in greenville um took a trip to my um uh, some of my family's house let's see i'll get on it all right so the what i like about this truck is first off the engine noise and that was a state trooper um <laughs> The engine noise on this is phenomenal, and I don't know if you get a really good one through the exhaust, a really good note through the exhaust, but uh, you hear it kind of, I mean, it almost feels like it's in a cab with you. Now, that's just when you accelerate. Like, this is very, very, I think my last video said this is a very, very quiet truck. Um, but when you when you run the, you know, the RPMs up there, it does sound very, very good in, uh, in the cab here, so. And then it dies back down, so uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not a big deal when you're driving and trying to have conversations. So that was a little bit of acceleration there. Um, I did a little bit of a little bit on the um, the miles per gallon or fuel economy. So the trip from Greenville, Texas, which is uh, it's right outside of Dallas on Interstate 30, and 30 all the, I took 30 all the way to Texarkana, and uh, about a hundred and probably 110 120 miles maybe uh there and then 100 same same distance back so i locked it in at 78 to 82 on depending on what, what road i was on at the time i was on 30 for the most part i did do a little bit of back you know uh i guess you can call it back road some of the farm to market roads um got a little more curve to them and whatnot but it, let's say that i averaged 80 miles an hour I averaged fuel economy wise right under 21 miles to the gallon and I was hoping for a little bit more but when you're going an average of 80 it really I mean what I don't know what else you can ask out of a motor a big v8 you know so I, I really I guess I'm not disappointed I expected a little more but at the same time I'm this is a big truck it's a big motor i don't know uh, i think i'm i've talked myself into being more okay with that than i was at first the ram got about 20 and a half on that same um, trip so 
you know, that's, it's, it's commendable. It's not, I don't know what we expect out of these big eight cylinder motors anymore. I don't, you know, I know the fuel economy on some of the V6s have probably spoiled some to, to some of the higher MPG numbers, but, uh, no, I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, yeah, so everything on this is, is pretty good. Um, the only thing I've really done is, like I said, the floor mats are, I didn't get the Ford ones uh, just because they didn't go all the way up underneath the pedal like what I wanted. And these, I think I paid $140 for the whole set, and I love how they have more give. You know, you get some of those weather techs and, and whatnot, and they're, and they're super stiff. And, uh, and this, these are not, these are super, you know, they got some bend flexibleness to them that I get the words pliable. And, uh, and I, I really was looking for that. So, uh, anyway, uh, a couple more points before I wrap this video up. I just wanted to see, you know, show y'all some of the acceleration drivability, talk about, you know, the fuel economy. So, um, the sound system on this thing, I think I touched on it last time. It's really pretty good for a seven speaker system. Like, uh, you know, I might upgrade it one day. Uh, I actually have, like I said, a little JBL Nano that I might, you know, try to improve the bass on. But this is a very, very, if you, if you tweak the settings, this is a very capable system. So I'm pretty, pretty, I guess, surprised um, because that wasn't really a focus that I had with this truck. So that's, that's good. Um, what else was, was I going to touch on here? Well, I don't really know. Like I said, I really just wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of, of what you could expect power and fuel economy wise on this. The, uh, the next step, you know, you, when you buy these, I don't know if you're a dealer or if it's just Ford doing this, but when you purchase, make sure there's nobody coming when you purchase these trucks um, you get 42,000 points towards either Ford accessories Ford service um, you know all of the you know I guess all of the above you can see there there's uh, it says 19 miles to, to the gallon uh, average that is with that is very very mixed driving I mean a lot of what I'm doing right now slower speeds getting up to speed um been i think right around 19 the entire time that i've had this truck actually i can probably go to trip let's see here all right so this is the last 496 miles okay so 18.8 yeah right around 19 uh, so with a, a good, 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 me, I do a lot of stop and go for work. So, and I, and I use the auto hold feature, which, you know, breaks the, after you're on the brake for like a second, it, it actually holds it for you. You can take your foot off the pedal. I do a lot of that. So 18.8 is not bad for mixed use. So, or it's not bad to me. Um, anyway, you get 42,000 points with these trucks and I plan on getting a drop in bed liner. Um, I thought I found one on, on Facebook Marketplace, but he doesn't have the power inverter, so I'd had I have to cut a hole in his for my uh, power plug, and I just really don't like the thought of how that might look. Even though it, with a Dremel, I'm pretty sure I could get it looking looking decent, but I just kind of talked myself out of it. So anyway, those are about three hundred thirty dollars on the four, and, and that forty two thousand points equates to about two hundred ten. So I mean, you're talking one hundred twenty plus tax. Uh, for a drop-in, you know, bed liner. Uh, it was 525 when I called about the spray-in bed liner uh, at my local uh, kind of truck accessory place. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know because I can't apply my four points to to that number. That's that's full 525 out of pocket. So I don't know yet. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all one more pull with this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sport mode. I love that rotary shifter, man. I rotary dial there, so. All right, let's, uh. So that is without causing too much 
except for now it wouldn't shift out of third. Um, that was in third gear all the way up to 65 when I let off. And uh, pretty good acceleration. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I didn't buy the truck for any type of, I guess really any kind of speed numbers. But uh, it, it definitely can, it will spin the tires. It will it will do everything you ask of it and, uh, and more. So that is pretty much the end of this video, guys. Uh, still pretty happy with my purchase uh they uh they got my ram up there for sale now and i don't have any uh any i guess uh, regrets on trading up to this and if you like i said if you watched my last video uh which i don't know a lot about how to edit these videos on youtube i'm not a big poster but uh if i can link it i'll, I'll link it in this video but this truck for what i like i said for what i paid for it which was 46 MSRP was 54 or 56. I paid 46. Then I bought, you know, 2000 and extended warranty and gap. And um, then, you know, TTNL hit all that. So I, I think my last video show said I financed around 52, which is still under MSRP. And that's with all the. I might actually just pull into this, uh, this car wash. God, it's cold outside. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I say it's cold. It's 54, but uh, in Texas and at the end of well, it's I'm sorry, it's early April. In Texas, it, that's that's actually pretty cold. So anyway, guys, that's that's the the gist of the video. Sorry, it was a little longer than what I intended it to be. Um, but no, really happy with the 5.0. Um, thinking about getting exhaust on it. I don't know yet on that either because of this four cylinder mode that this thing has. Uh, I've, I've seen some videos where people aren't real happy with the way that the exhaust sounds once that, you know, kicks into four. But the idle and the wide open throttle sound amazing. These are probably the best sounding engines on the market as far as I'm concerned. Um, even the, the Hemis don't sound anywhere near as good as this with the right exhaust setup. So. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and spray this thing off, seeing as I trampled through that mud hole a couple days ago. And uh, Any more updates in the videos or uh, any more updates in the future, and I'll update the videos. And uh, y'all let me know in the comment section uh, if you have any questions about, you know, the ownership so far of this truck and um, or if you're on the fence about it. And um, my video you know, answered a question, great. If it, if it caused a que question, ask it, and uh, I'll be sure to get back with you. Y'all have a good rest of your evening.